another day, another series. Life is strange. This is the first series of my channel actually, so not another series. But yeah, I have been recommended this game by a lot of people, so I just decided to play it, because why not? So of course, like every great series, let's just start off with a new game. Life is Strange is a story based game that features player choices, the consequences of your game actions and decisions. Okay, they didn't let me read. Okay, it's already gone. Oh god. What happened to her? Where am I? What's happening? Yeah, I also need to know that. I'm trapped in the storm. How did I get here? And where is here? There's the lighthouse. I'll be safe if I can make it there. What if the lighthouse gets destroyed? Make it there. Okay, I'm in control. Am I going the right way? Yeah, I guess so. Holy shit. That's a huge storm. That was so Alfred surreal. Hitchcock famously called film little pieces of time. But he could be talking about photography as he It was just okay. a dream. I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example that of was a really good aim. perfectly captured the human condition in I black I didn't fall asleep and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, 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 shh. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, Why can't though, I, move my I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. And any one of you could do that to me. Isn't that too easy? Too obvious? What if Arbus chose to capture oh. people at the height of their beauty? Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. Her, in her innocence. She had a brilliant eye. So she could have taken another approach. I have if anybody else looked at this, what would they think? October, my favorite month, the best weather of the year. I love watching the leaves change color, turning into tiny flames, but it's still too damn hot. Thanks, global warming. And I can't bust out the big coats and sweaters or scary movies yet. Soon, Kate let me borrow the October Country by Red Bradbury. Who's Kate now? Okay, this is really big. This is Kate. And that's the che teacher, I guess. Oh, the main character's name is Max. We are in episode 1 right now. Oh. That 
That's a really short chat. Have to admit, I'm not a big fan of her work. I prefer Robert Frank. Me too, Victoria. He captured the essence of post-war beat America. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic oh, tradition. Damn it, double. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Uh... I did know, but I kind of forgot. You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck <coughs> in the retro zone. Sad face. Shut up, nerd. Very good, Victoria. <laughs> the Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. My little camera bag is battered, but still you kicking. You can find out all about him in your textbook, or even online. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So, Stella. I listen. didn't hear anything yeah, about Taylor, the glass. Don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too, and yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Shut up, whatever your name was. Alright, where do I have to go now? Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing app. I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. Hi, Kate. Oh. Hi, Max. Kate, I hope I didn't embarrass you with my lame answer. It sucks to be dragged into the spotlight. Unless you're Victoria. She's got nothing on you, Max. Well, I should get going. Yeah, me too. Talk to you later. Sure. Okay, what do I have to do? Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. Working on what? Oh, totally. I only want to share whatever gifts I have with the world. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to me? Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I didn't have any time. Way too much homework. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. You didn't tell didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. I feel like you have to you always okay, okay the that's room. a lot of students. Hot. Then I might send you a special picture. What's the point of Because Max wants everybody to see how cute she is. She plays it so sharp. I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. She's so fucking shy. She takes selfies with a giant camera. Okay, copyrighted music. 
I'll have to mute it. Life is strange. Episode one, Grellasis. I forgot to read. Where do I even have to go? Okay, he's getting bullied. Where do I have to go? Right, she said in the bathroom. Empty, good. Nobody can see my meltdown, except for me. What do I have to do? I feel like the universe is taunting me everywhere I go today. The universe is taunting me everywhere I go today. It all started with that bizarro dream in class. Am I going crazy? Nah, bro. We all are crazy. Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Fuck it. Bro, I ripped the photo. Why is there a butterfly closes, in the bathroom? A window opens. Illuminati. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. For some reason, my cut scenes are lagging a bit. Why is there a boy in a girl's bathroom? It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You're okay, bro. Just count to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the boss. Shut up, Nathan. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down. Don't ever hey, hey. tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Okay, Dipper, whoever she was. Whoa, what the fuck? How, how can that be? Um, I was in the bathroom. Paper? He shot that poor girl. She's I back. held up my hand and then I was back here. As he likely was. These pieces of time can frame us. I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color. Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Now, can you give me an example of a Man, photographer I cannot who believe this. captured the human condition in black and white? Okay, I guess I I'm can crazy. Time I might as well go all the way. Bueller. Can I actually reverse time? Go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Because of her images of hope. Okay, 
Okay, I guess I can rewind time. I did it. Can you give I me an actually example did of it. A photographer who perfectly captured I'm a human the human time machine. Black and white. On Leo can do it. Anybody? Max, don't freak out. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Keep it because together, Max. Of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted I by the eyes of those guys. When I took my selfie, Jefferson asked me a question. Is tortured, right? If he does again, I'll know this is for real. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner. Now he will ask me the question and I know the answer. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming this. Yes, you are not dreaming this because life is strange. So I can go back in time. Yeah, I guess I figured that out. What if that girl isn't dead yet? The point Can I save that her? The portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I'm sorry, but I really have to use the bathroom. Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me after class. And I need time to save that girl. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. You could have just told totally the answer. Stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind again and give him the right answer? Find detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s on. Right, I have the first to divine it. Damn, this is weird. Oh, I could have just told and shift. Well, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first? Well, now we know the answer. We have heard it like three times. The Daguerrean process. Invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. Yay. The Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn right, more when you actually finish go reading the assigned the chapters. Room. Max is so far way ahead of everyone. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the All winner right, to San Francisco, go, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Don Alyssa Max get it them. together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an Everyday Hero. Yeah, you are going to be a hero. Yes, Victoria, you still have to do your homework this week. Go, go. Fast. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. All right. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing I'll skip. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure I have one. Given your selfie output, I'm... Sure, you must have about a thousand pics by now. It'll take a long time to find a good one. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. All right, go, go, go. What? To control who previous... Quickly undo your previous actions. You still rewind. I'm not able to rewind. Oh, I have to press control. Yes, Victoria, you still have to do your homework this week. E Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, 
Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photographers future vu. stars of I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers, good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. Yeah. Let's go now. Go done. Quick, quick. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. You know I don't tease. I hate that science class with those. Okay, Max, retrace every step. I washed my face. I shredded my yes. photos. Then that the is. butterfly flew in. And I took a photo. Now what? Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am. Like or who you're you messing this around time with. Now. What are you doing? Don't Come on, put that thing down. Tell me what to do. Well, it's happening. happening I can. People trying to control me. You are going I need to a hammer to break it open. For this than drugs. Nobody yeah, would it's... ever even miss your punk ass. Looks like Samuel forgot to take the cleaning cart out of there. Oh. Holy shit, I can't let this happen. No. If I can I reverse time again, light. I can help her. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me. Sick of people trying to control me. Come on. Get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Oh, I was again too late. Don't ever tell me what to do. Tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me. No way. Don't ever touch me again, freak. Another shitty day. That did not yeah, happen. Yeah, you saved her. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Yeah, yeah. even Do I don't not know. Freak out. There's a fire alarm. You have to freak out. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. Bald guy coming in clutch. Don't wander around here. Get on outside. That's the gate. Hold on, Max. Come back here. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You can always be up front with me, Max. Or have no, she you done can't. something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. Uh, I should report him. I guess I'll report him. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott. You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know. I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. 
It Mr. just Prescott happened to her like five times. Prescott the most distinguished family and one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girl's bathroom. So what happened next? Then... then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you gonna bust him? This is a serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please well, go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Of course this academic drone won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell. More copyrighted music, of course. With Nathan Prescott, please come to the front office. Thank you. Rachel Amber. She looks so hopeful and pretty. I wonder what happened to her. Okay. So this guy, this girl is missing. Probably related to the story, I guess, because that's why they forced me. Where do I have to go now? I better read Warren's text before he blows my phone up. How do I read it? Oh. Okay, that's okay, it. Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. Where are the dom doms? Okay, so I have these things. Does anyone know where the dorms are? Hi, Brooke. Let me guess. You want to fly my drone? Yeah, I guess. I'd love to. I love planes and balloons and... This is neither. Do you know what a drone really is? Uh, a flying weapon, thing. Right? Uh, you read too many conspiracy sites. This might be too complicated for you. Honey, Warren said you were smart. Please, step back. Okay. Where are the dorms? Does anyone know? I have no idea what I'm doing. Here I am, I guess. Come on, Logan, bring it, bro. Yeah. Uh. Okay, so now I have to click I need to a go to my photo. room and return Warren's flash drive. Where is my room? Dormitories. They are under construction apparently. I can't even go to my room without talking to this bitch. Oh look, it's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. 
The yeah, Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> Just let me Since you go. know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Yeah, I guess oh, I figured that much Hold out. that pose. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, Shut the why heck. don't you go fuck your selfie? Oh yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. I think this is a way in. Maybe not. Is there another way in the dormitories? Do you understand English? Get lost. Yeah, I, I think I understand it. Can I climb it? I cannot climb it. I guess I have to go over there. What do I have to do? I don't get it. Sorry, no paparazzi allowed. I didn't even come near you. Sorry, no paparazzi allowed. Shut up. There's Wait. only one way around this. with that ladder and hurt poor Samuel. I just want to get Victoria the hell out of the way. Okay, let's see if this works. Sorry, no paparazzi allowed. I think something will happen to Victoria. Go faster. <sighs> no. Close, but no cigar. They have to be right under the bucket. What the hell? Thanks so much for almost ruining my outfit. I guess I have to go back now. Close, but no cigar. They have to be right Jesus under the bucket. What the hell? Hmm. Close, uh, but no cigar. I they have to be right control. under the bucket. The I have hell? to press right. Let's see if this works. Victoria is not getting the hint. Now what do I have to Keep do? Keep walking, hippie. How can I get her over there? Keep walking, something hippie. Something with her bag or something. Nope. Close, off. but no cigar. They have to be right under the bucket. What the hell? Then I have Thanks to get so the much bucket. For ruining my outfit. You're so lucky that didn't fall on us. We'd see your ass so fast. 
Hmm. I need to figure this out. Okay. Now what? Uh, Okay, let's see if this works. How do I get her over there? Sorry, no paparazzi allowed. Ah, oh. uh, for fuck's sake. Do you understand English? Get lost. Can you get over here for a second? I could crank the sprinkler up and give Victoria and her clones incentive to beat it. Then do it. That Close, but no cigar. Sad. They have to be right under the bucket. I think I got an idea. Thanks I so turn much for almost that ruining up my outfit. And then, You're and so then lucky she that comes. didn't fall on us. We'd see your and ass then, so fast. I must have missed something. I should rewind. I need to get her over there. I need to crank up the spring sprinklers mm -hmm. somehow. Water pump. What the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this! Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. Now I have to do something with the bucket. I can't grab that. Samuel is way too close. Do you understand English? Get lost. I was so slow. First, I have to do that. Okay, let's see if this works. Then I have to run there and use that. Which then puts them over there. Well, this should work easily. And then that falls. No way! No fucking you okay, way! Okay, Victoria. Oh, Samuel, sorry. Wet, wet pain is not good for hair. Nope. Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo! Hold on, hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I dry. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. Yeah. Uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? Comfort. I am sorry. That's an awesome cashmere coat. It was. But there'll be another. Well, you always seem to know how to pick the right outfits. I do have some talent. Mr. Jefferson told me. I've seen your pictures. You have yeah, a great I don't eye. care. Richard Avedon-esque. Besides her toxic. He's one of my heroes. Thanks, Max. I hope those sluts get me a towel before they hang a sign on me. You deserve a better shot. Sorry about blocking you and, and the go for your selfie. That was mean, but pretty funny. Okay, now let me go. Just one of those days, you know? I know exactly what you mean, Victoria. I'll see you later. Au revoir. Yeah. Victoria probably played me. I should have played her. Better get to my room before I find her. Okay. It said this action will have consequences. I guess a change in story. Okay, now. Hurry, Courtney. 
Room 217? No way in hell am I ever going in here. We took so long. Which one is mine? Nah, I don't wanna Oh, this is my room. Hey, she plays guitar. Home sweet home. My favorite cocoon. Warren even left me a little message with his flash drive. He's such a goofball. Okay, I don't care, really. Where is... Happy birthday. Oh, hey, it's her um, birthday. Why can't I type anything, though? Happy birthday, Max, I guess. Keep calm and carry on. Where is the flash drive? Should be on her table, though. Or in the One day I'll organize my film collection. One day I'll get an actual HDTV. Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. Okay, someone borrowed the drive. Great. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. Where is Dana's room? You can't get out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rot in there. Well, now Welcome I have to, to the talk real drama with her. Of Blackwell. Yeah, I guess. Hey, Juliet, is everything cool? Oh yeah, no, Max. I don't think I've so. locked Dana in the room because we're cool. You are ridiculous. What did she do? What didn't she do? Dana's been sexting with my boyfriend. Ouch. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? Uh, I don't know. Um, all of them have son for some reason. Juliet Pats... Juliet Patson. That was truly sad. Thanks for your concern, Max Caulfield. By the way, Juliet Watson. All right. Can I go to... Answer, you wuss. <laughs> Why can't I go in? Note to Max. It pays to remember names. I guess I have to rewind. Hey, yep, Juliet. Speak. Is oh, yes, Max. Juliet Watson, you be nice. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Uh, of course I do. Thanks. I locked Dana in because she was sexting Zach, my boyfriend. Unbelievable. Would Dana do out, that? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sext, and Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Victoria Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. I'm not letting her out until she tells the truth. Leave me alone, Max. Get a clue. Okay, now where do I get the clue? I have no idea where to get the clue. Um, 
I can help Dana, and check out Victoria's room to find out if she is the kind of person I hope she's not. Alright, now we have to go into Victoria's room. Her room is a mess. Is she going to get a 3D printer for her dorm room? Maybe I will join her posse. Maybe in there we will find the I'll chance. give Victoria props for not- Boom! This is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. Okay, now how do I print it? Print email. It prints with one click. What the heck? Tick. This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. Alright, now let's go. Go fast, bro. Oh. Juliet, read this. Yeah, read that, bro. Horse. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. That's Dana. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No. But I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zach has to say about Victoria. Who's the you Blackwell set me free. Ninja? Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. Yeah, I did it just because of the flash drive. Almost done. Get the flash drive and then I'll go see Warren. There's the flash. Okay, maybe that's not the flash drive. Oh, uh, Max, that's mine. Thank you. You're not helpful. You're just nosy. I think you better go. That was that. Nice, Max. You hurt her feelings by being so damn nosy again. But I could rewind and make it up to her. Go faster. We just take it and we leave. Must protect my precious, so Max never has to chase it down again. That was good, I guess. Dab. Alright, now we have to go to the park where we can see the cars. Now from where can we see the cars? One second. SMS. Oh, it's a parking lot, not a park. This shit. Ow! That hurt. Damn, I better rewind. Why should I rewind for that? Fuck this shit! Ow! Ah, I'm so slow. Alyssa, move your head. If you insist, Max. Now that's what I'm talking about. I actually helped somebody. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, sure, whatever. I don't care. Where is the parking lot? So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. Intervene. Take a photo. Take a photo. You can't fool me. I know everything about this school. I cover the waterfront. So you better figure out what side you're Please, on. Please, leave me alone. Oh, 
Hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks for nothing, Max. Oh, great. Now I have to leave. Man, I should have stepped in between Kate and David. That asshole was so over the line. I could rewind and try something different. Why isn't shift working? Now that happens. Okay, maybe not. Wait, what? I thought I rewinded. That's weird. There's the parking lot. Wait a second. I just realized something. If Man, we I can done something. Wait, let that her say. Okay. So if we rewind, then that means that dream which she said which was a dream, the storm. The storm was real. So that means that there is a storm coming. Also, what is that drawing? I should rewind maybe? Nope, I should cannot rewind. I don't get it. How could Zack and Victoria do that to me? Hi, Juliet. How are you doing? Oh, hey, Max. Sorry, I'm still screwed up. What happened? Sorry you had to find out about Zachary that way. Or anyway. Better sooner than later. Now that skank Victoria won't be laughing behind my back anymore. Have you talked to Zack yet? Mr. Badass Football Hero is such a chicken shit. He said he sexed Victoria as a joke. Ha ha. I think Warren wants your attention. He usually does. Hang in there, Juliet. See you around, Max. Where is Warren now? Max, get your ass over here. Flash. What up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. Thanks. No problem. Check out my new wheels. Cool. Very old school. 1978 to be exact. Now we can go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. You're in the I wrong guess time that's one. his boyfriend. But then so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. I bet. I heard Victoria got a face full of paint. I'd pay money to see a photo of that. <laughs> Really? I wish I would have known. You probably could have raised a Kickstarter fund just for that one image of her covered in paint. Had I known <laughs> that. Anyway, Victoria took down my photo, so that drama ended well. So, did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? Yeah, thanks. You had some cool shit on there, from Akira to Twilight Zone. Of course which I would watch the today. movies. I consider myself a pop cultural pirate connoisseur. That does sound better than thief. Ha ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. I have no idea. Seen, Seen it. it. I was more disturbed by all those emo vampire movies in there. Can a sensitive high school boy love sensitive vampires too? So you're sensitive. Ouch. That sounds awful the way you say it. Uh... How so? Sensitive usually means won't be having sex with you. Oh, God. You need a sensitive woman to kick your ass. If I was lucky. Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. Yeah, bro, she has. I don't think I should tell him. I don't want to speak about it. This is kind of a crazy day for me. I mean, I literally think I'm going crazy. I may be a pest, but I'm you a good listener. You have time travel. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life-changing. 
Have you ever hey, had a dream it. so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? You're one of the Jefferson's photo groupies? I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you told the principal now. Answer I, me. I, what are you talking know. about? I know you're new here, but don't even play stupid with me. I'm not new. I've lived here for years. Then you should know the Prescotts own this shithole. Then you don't have to worry about me. Worry about yourself. Do not analyze me. I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, <sighs> Max Caulfield. This guy is such a... Take a step back, Nathan Prescott. Oh man, you're telling me what to do? Get away from her, dude! Hey! Bro. Leave him alone! Nobody tells me what to do! Not my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore Wait, in the bathroom! No. <gasps> Max? Chloe? No way. You again. Warren. Go! Go! I got this! Get in, Max! Get your punk asses out of there now! Don't even try to run! Nobody! Nobody! She just left her boyfriend back there. Man, Nathan Prescott is messed up and dangerous. This day never ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. Yeah, I know, right? After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. Don't give me the guilty face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. I am seriously glad to see you. Who is oh, she, though? Thanks, Chloe. It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. So what did that freak want with you? I have no idea. I have no idea. I know he's a press card. And an asshole. Your friend really stood up for you. Warren? Yeah, I owe him big time. You're not the only one in debt. And you're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. It feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? No, not yet. No, it felt like a real city for artists. Big and bright. Great for taking pictures. Yeah, must be hard coming back to a hick town like Arcadia again. Not after seeing you. Please, girl. You came back for Blackwell Academy. Only for Mark Jefferson. He was a pretty famous photographer in the 90s. I've always loved his work. Those that can't do, teach. I'm glad you found a good reason to come back. Don't you think I'm happy to see you? No. You were happy to wait five years without a call or even a text. Give me a break. I was going through changes. Like you. I guess those changes included dumping me from your life. That's not true, Chloe. Bullshit. You thought you hook up with all these art pricks in Seattle. Didn't happen, though. You're merciless. You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. Enough said. I just wanted to settle Don't in first. Don't go too far be because I know that there is a eat. storm coming. I totally would have contacted you. I bet you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me, Max. The graphics are good for a 2015 game. The animations are bad though. Broken? Oh, man, are you serial? Wow, haven't heard that one in a while. Not everything changes. Except my camera has officially taken a shit. My step douche has a boatload of tools. Maybe you can fix it in my place. I need very specific tiny tools. Nerd alert. My stepdad has a fully stocked garage. And he actually is a tiny tool. Welcome home, Max. Come on in, don't be shy. The house still looks 
Nice. Home shit home. My room looks a bit different than the last time you saw it. It's cool. At least we can chill out. This isn't exactly my chill out zone. My step fear makes sure of that. Come in and close the door. Put on some music while I medicate. Where is the music player now? Actually, I think that is going to be all for today. And I guess she's my sister. When's the last and, time I had to uh, dig through yeah. Chloe's crap? And uh, yeah, that is going to be it for today. We have found out about our teacher, Mr. Jefferson, that Nathan dude, that Nathan dude, and all of these people. And there is a storm coming. So yeah, um, 10 likes and I'll continue this series. That's gonna be it for today. So I will be back one day.